the first time I arrived in Grignon, wow, I could feel the whole history of the place. It was impressive to see all this, those, those old buildings, the castle, the horse farm, the old laboratory. It was inspiring to think that we will live here for one year. The domain of Grignon was acquired in 1582 by Pompon de Bellier. He built a castle in the Louis XIII style and did it around 1636 and surrounded by a 7 km wall. By this time, the domain became a well-known agricultural place. Students were replaced by sheep and pigs. The cattle live in the building which is now a cafeteria and offices. Napoleon came at least twice for hunting. It was in 1877 that Charlottetown gave away the domain to create the Royal Agronomic Institute. This institute aimed at teaching and giving the example of the practice of good agricultural methods. It is still true. They could experiment on 500 hectares to improve agriculture. Grignon paid an important tribute with wars in 1870 and during the 20th century. A dead memorial was created in 1965 in memory of all teachers, staff and students dead during the war. After the First World War, Grignon welcomed the war wounded. During the Second World War, Grignon was a hotspot of the resistance with an important information hub called Prosper. One of the most famous resistance fighters was the Princess Snow, surnamed Madeleine. A young Indian lady came from England who gave important and secret information about the German network and they had dropped to the British. She died as a heroine in the Dachau concentration camp. From this time, a crack still exists in the wall surrounding the domain. It is commemorated every year by students in memory of the resistance and the heroic deeds of their predecessors. Finally, in 1971, Grignon and the National Institute of Agronomy merged. Then, in 2007, 10 years ago, they were joined by the Hensia and the Hengraf. The unique adventure to study in such a fabulous place full of history. I'm really respectful of my predecessor. And I'm proud to tell that I'm a Guignonet.